Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing a loon. Now this is early access, just making sure you guys know that. I'm not sure if they're going to be like other early access games and wipe your progress. So do go in with a little bit of knowledge on that. So let's go ahead and get in and see how it is. This game is published. I'm not sure if it's developed by Gameville. So, yeah. Name, is it already taken? Okay, no it's not. We're good. Not sure what this game is, but we're gonna go ahead and see, I guess. <laughs> I haven't really seen any other combat. The only thing, the only reason I know about this game is just because Dragon Blaze advertised it when, when it like starts up. So I was just like, why not? Let's try out the game and see how it is. So yeah, thanks to Dragon Blaze, I didn't know that this game is this. Oh wow. I'm definitely liking the animations a little bit. Sadly, no voice acting. Uh -huh. That just takes me out of the immersion. Like right now, I just want to see like a little bit more of the animations. Okay then. Okay then. All right. Nice dragon. Oh my god, it's a slingshot. I literally thought it was just a staff. <laughs> well, looks to be deceiving for sure. Jeez. An undead gunslinger. Okay. <laughs> Make oh god no please dear god Ah wait a minute hold on Ah it is I was wondering if this was a turn based game But the way they were set up I was just like Is it basically like Summoner Wars? <laughs> Okay, so we got the ultimate skill. Is it over the top? Oh dear god, yes it is over the top. And it's so smooth too. It's not even a speck of lag. They actually optimized it pretty well. I'll give them that. So we got a little dragon friend. God, who who does he remind me of? There's another character that I'm thinking of with a little dragon pet. Is it Sha Javelin? Something like that? It reminds me of that dude from um Seven Knights. The dude with the other pet dragon. That's who it reminds me of. Yo, the animations are actually pretty nice. Swap turn. Oh, so I can pass the turn over to... Okay, that's actually pretty neat. Um... Okay, this guy is a badass. 
Dude, I actually think I might get into this game. Like, no lie. I actually might play this on stream, for sure. Oh, well, they got wrecked. Lucifer even looks like a badass. We're not even going to say how some of their names are pretty close to Overwatch characters. <laughs> We're going to avoid that part. Oh, damn. Voice acting during these scenes wouldn't have been half bad, to be honest. But remember, it is in early access, so once it's like fully released, that could change. Dude, this is so sick. I don't even want to skip it. <laughs> oh, smug ass. <laughs> really? Okay, I was thinking the sound was like a little suppressed when we were like di going through that whole scene. Like, I didn't feel like the impact. Whoops. Forgot my cursor was on the screen. I'll do that a lot. You guys get over it. <laughs> All heroes unite to fight the darkness. Sounds like your typical story. I gotta say, I'm impressed with the <laughs> with the skills though. They look amazing. Especially Baldur's. His his fucking ultimate is badass. Okay, right, so now they're going into this animations. So I guess we'll get the bigger animations like now and then. Right now, I just want to get into the gameplay. Yes, form a team. All right, we got our standard characters. Okay, so they have certain formations to where you can put in like different characters. A is for all, I'm guessing. And you gotta attack. Oh, maybe there's different formations. Hold on. Yeah, that probably is a different formation. Is this an attack formation? Let's go with Adventure. Alright, the first area. Dude, this is actually going to be pretty interesting. I know it took me a long time to get to this. Like, a 
I'm a couple of days late, but I wanted to get out like other like promotional videos out of the way. I'm not really promotional. I don't really get any money out of it, so yeah, none of the sponsor videos like other people. Maybe in the future someday. All right, let's go ahead and skip this. So you got your normal attacks, just by clicking, and these will be your skills. So let's see, not enough souls, so I'm guessing those are like turns that you would take before then, or are you using these? Okay, now here's, hmm, yeah, now they're teaching us. Okay, so it's basically like, um, what was it? King's Raid, where you share all of your s stuff with some of your characters. Well, no, your characters like have like this point system to the, where they have to have a certain amount of points. Well, okay, yeah, I was doing that right. Because some of you guys have played, um, well, most of you guys have played King's Raid. It's basically where one character would have like these number of points. One skill will cost three of those points. Another skill will cost like two. But except for this is to the whole party. So if a skill costs five points, it will be taken from the points here. So like I said, that skill takes four points and that takes out of our power. I know there's going to be a lot of people who are new to like mobile games. So they probably wouldn't know that. So I have to explain it at least. Dude, I already know what's going to be my thumbnail. Like, jeez. Alright, so we have our task rewards. Pretty much our achievements and stages. Now start my own adventure. Okay, thank you. They already let us go on our own way. Okay. So we get a four star summoning ticket. Alright, this is the first week though. Second week, another four star. Four star legendary. Okay, so there's legendaries and epics noted. And this one is a selector, so you can select one of them. So we've seen a little bit of the gameplay. Let's go ahead and grab our stuff out of here. Alright, no beta testing rewards, so I'm guessing when it officially launches, then we're gonna be getting uh, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and look at some of the characters that are here. Seems like we have points. Yeah, there we go. Wait, is there a starring system? If you, Jesus Christ, is this how many stars that there are in the game? All right, let's look over. Maybe we should keep the skills up. We're just gonna give them a little bit of a peep. Can we see, like, the actual skill? Okay, nah, it doesn't look like we can actually see the skill. We have to get them in. Pretty much see them for ourselves. So there's a normal attack, and then there's a special, then there's ultimate. And they also have passives. Let's just go through, like, the actual characters instead of just going through their skills and stuff. I guess we'll leave it on our ultimates. Oh, she seems like a buffer. Definitely, definitely say some really interesting designs. I like this guy. Oh, they actually have costumes as well. Oh, dude, he looks sick. So I'm wondering, are you also evolving them into these? 
Or are they just different elements? I want this character. Just because I love characters with parasols for some reason. Don't question me. And these are transcendence. Okay, now we're getting into like creatures that we actually fight from characters. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. A lot of cool monsters. <laughs> Just look at that smile. Oh my. Um, quite a thick little angel statue you got there. Anywho. Uh, going on. Got a scorpion. Oh, they have little dialogue down here. I didn't even... I didn't even realize that. Okay. And that's pretty much all the characters that we see. So, did these guys have costumes? Yeah, they do. I figured. I was about to say, no way they don't have costumes since they're the main characters. And thankfully, it looks like there are evolution skins. So if you evolve this character to this, you can always go back to the previous one. That's what more games need to be doing, for sure. Wait, do we miss a character? I think we missed a few characters. Yeah, we didn't see these guys. Oh, wait, why is... Um, oh, I was about to, I was questioning it so much. I was just like, wait, why is he back there? Uh, okay, dude. Calm down, you badass. Okay, so now we got the legendary characters is what I'm guessing. Some of these characters actually look really dope. Oh, dude, he just just creates his shield. He's going on a rampage too. Some of them have less epic entries than others, which I like the more less epic entries, just so I can look at everything. Look at him in his mech suit. Too bad I can't see. Um, See him with this helmet on. Um, okay then. I don't know why I thought she was an Alice. Like, I, I just thought her name was going to be Alice. Because any character with a minigun that looks like this looks like an Alice. Or potentially becomes <laughs> Alice. I was about to say, she's about to build a turret. Yep, I figured. <laughs> what the hell? I like this guy. Wait, the bird wasn't even on his hand. I, I want to see that one more time. <laughs> oh well. I could definitely say some nice designs for that one. Why does he remind me of Ace? He reminds me so much of Ace for some reason. Obviously inspired by Wukong. He even takes that stance of Wukong, too. I think I like this one way better. 
Yeah, this skin is way better. Alright. Kinda like this character. He looks he looks pretty dope. Kinda like this character too. Does he expand his wings? Okay, no, he does something way different. I wasn't expecting that, but alright. Hiccup, stop it. Oh, one of those characters with, like, the closed eyes that just give that evil, disturbing smile. You can never tell what they're thinking. If they're angry or not. Dude, you know you have to pull that sword out, right? Dude, he reminds me of the fucking dude from Yu-Gi-Oh. Does he not? That dude with the... Uh, God, I can't remember what minute, what item he had. Wasn't it like that. No, Pegasus had the eye. I think he had like a skill, maybe. I approve of the genie. In multiple ways than one. Anywho, <laughs> let's get to you on. Ah, the Egyptian characters are definitely going to get me. Because if you guys don't know, I'm kind of a fan of Anubis as well when it comes to the Egyp Egyptian things. Uh, okay then. Nice. Ah, speaking of Anubis, I think I like this one way better. Fucking love that helmet. This could literally just cut out this icon right here, and I well cut out this like face right here, and I could literally be your icon. There's a lot of legendary characters. This character looks pretty cool. I think I like this skin for her more. Her name's Mana. Oh, they have twin characters too. Oh, look at this badass. Right, let's go back. Oh. They have a suck of his character. Count me in. What does this one look like, though? Yeah, I think I like this one a lot better. Dude, what are you? Please stop. No. No. I do not approve. Wait, hold on. God, there's a lot more. So it seems like they have a lot of characters. Now there's no more skids, though. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my god. Like, you look like a badass in here, but looking at the rest of your hair, jeez. Alright, I guess that's it, to be honest. We just looked at all the characters. They all look pretty nice. Ah, well, that's, this is exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> this is how I discovered this game, because Dragon Blaze does the same thing. All right, let's go start our own. I know, we we took a while to look at all the characters, you know. I wanted to see how their designs were looking. They're actually not half bad. Ow. So once that timer hits, um, well, nah, pretty much when they're on fire, they're about to use like a strong attack. Oh, 
Alright, so... Oh, you can see who they're gonna hit. Oh, okay. Let's keep him from... Oh, we're, we're gonna try to keep him from hitting... Oh. Yeah, it's definitely missing, like, the impact. And we definitely... Yeah, we actually stopped him from attacking her. Okay, I was like, did we get the provoke? And yeah, we did get the provoke. He did not actually attack her because we got the provoke on him. So this character's first skill, well, normal skill, actually provokes. All right, then. So we can't look into PvP for what it seems. It doesn't seem locked. Okay, they're locked in here. So there are like tournaments or alliance battles where it's just like guild versus guild. And then there's team battles. I'm not sure if it's real time or not. As for challenges, you have... The Morbius dungeon? Yeah, boss battles. Dimensional Rifts, which is probably in like a um, tower, maybe. Or probably a challenge zone. And then you have World Boss. Okay, so we do have more characters. I was just wondering. Let's go over to area seven and try and learn what this Mobius dungeon is. I'm pretty sure it's probably like a daily dungeon where you do to get like resources to expand your characters. That's at least what I'm guessing. So let's get to that. I'll tap and hold. I'm holding. Okay, there we go. So they're basically just saying that we can look at our stats and everything that changes. You can also look at your passives right here as well. So we fire a soul for defeating an enemy. I go ahead and kill him. Wait. Oh, so she has to be the one defeating the enemy, though. Say, ah, oh, it missed. Die already. Stop dodging me. Okay, so now we're level three. What rewards did we get? A few here and there. All right, you're going to take us to the lobby. What are we doing now? Ah, there's the summonings. I was wondering to myself. I was just like, wait, where's the whole summoning thing? Ah, so it's like a 24 hour summon. Noted.
Alright, let's see how there's so many look. Oh, okay, we got an epic. Oh god, it's bright too. Okay, so we got her. Ah, let's resummon. I don't want her. No, oh. <laughs> Okay, I'll go again. Why not? And this one's a blue. Let me skip it. Uninteresting blue. I don't want it. Oh, but I guess you can't skip the blues. So now we got those rewards. Um, so I did miss a few days, didn't I? Legendary opportunity. So I would get this character. There's also a shop. What's up in the shop? Now we get this for free. Apparently there's something else in here we get free. Nah, I think that was just it. Missions. All right, let's continue through. Area four. Let's go ahead and put in some of those characters. Put you right there. Perfect. So this formation thing. Yeah, I was right. It is basically formations like um, Seven Nights a little bit. Take me in. I am ready. I love her claws, though. Alright, so what do you do? Just to attain one server's reach. Ah. Uh. So I can increase the magic attack, increase the defense of all my teammates. Oh, that's magic defense. So hold on, let me see something. So this is our magic defense. 205? What if we do this? And it actually goes up. Okay, so that's nice. You can actually see that for sure. Ah, oh, you would dodge. So, so far there's no, like, autoing. So far. So this guy is just basically a support for defenses. Go see our skill. Oh, oh, because we have this on. Wow, that that's anticlimactic for sure. Go ahead and heal her. Note to self: slow down the skills next time. Jeez, that totally ruined it. So now we got four. So this is down for two turns. Ah, 
Ah, so every turn also... Okay, so every turn also gives you, like, uh, this little loading bar, too. And once it hits this, you get this much. Okay, nice. Clearly less, um... Weaker characters or lower ranked characters don't get like the over top abilities like the legendary or epic characters, unfortunately. Feels bad. They don't get to show their stuff. So now we're getting equipment that we can equip to our characters. Oh, my bag? So basically, like runes in a way. Go ahead and auto equip. I don't think they should still show up in your inventory once you equip them, though. That's the only thing I would like to say there. So, upgrading. So I'm guessing this is just putting in XP. Yep. Thank you. All right, let's go back in. We are now on five. I'm actually kind of enjoying myself a little bit. All right, so we're going through like a little test. Let's get that. I think the only thing that got me interested was like the animations. I knew they were going to stay long, unfortunately. Uh, he's gonna flick damage on himself. Okay, then. Do a little bit of damage to him. All we need is like the taunt and that's it. Or him dying, that works too. Uh, I don't think I like that. Nah, I'm pretty sure I don't like that. I think I'm good. Okay, there he is. Let's see. So his attack is actually pretty damn high. I'm pretty sure he's a physical unit anyway. Yeah, he increased all of his stuff and provoked us. We're gonna take reduced damage in. Probably a lot of damage too. Eh, it was alright. Okay, there's the auto button. So yeah, we can auto now. Ow. I have no idea what these symbols mean either. Alright, you just had to hit him with the crit. That's. Oh, very rude of you. Okay, so they have like little fighting scenes then, now and then between it. The fighting scenes are actually pretty smooth. a certain level so now we're on six let's go ahead and head to seven oh 
Oh my god, it's, a, it's the owl man. I'm just gonna let it auto to see what they can see what they're gonna do. Wait, what? She attacked. Huh, I guess I haven't paid attention to that then. Oh yeah, she spreads her damage over to others, but it's like a little bit of tiny damage. Nothing like really out of this world. Well, actually, it's expanded to everybody. Huh. This is the first stage, by the way. If you guys can't tell by this. Alright, wave two. Yes, shield me. It seems like ultimates are on the pretty short cooldown, but these little orbs kind of keeps it balanced a little bit. It's basically like waiting, waiting a couple of turns. All right, finish them off. Alright, skip this. Will we level up again? Oh, okay, nope. I was just hoping we level up at least one more time. I think I'll wait for like the actual launch before I play more though. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, we can bring friends. Let's bring a friend. See what happens. So there's potions too. Pretty sure you would want to use your golden stuff on your formations like Seven Knights. Because your formations give you like so many extra buffs and stuff like damage, HP. Alright, so how many rounds is this? Uh, two rounds again. So she's in queue. Once one of my allies die, then she should summon in their place. Now you just don't hear like the impact. It kind of just sounds muzzled. Oh, well, that's a whole bunch of damage you're dead. <laughs> so I'm guessing this character is more like a single target damager. I don't remember that. And plus, she's, she's my best attacker right now. I'm going to work on her either way. But if they do decide to wipe everything, I'll probably be, like, pretty far behind, but eh. I don't think I'll be too worried. I'll catch up sooner or later. All right, here it is. That's what we were fighting up to. Then we're going to end it off there. Yeah, okay, I figured it was for Evolution and stuff to expand your characters. Great dungeon. Explore. That in. Oh, okay. So now that elite dungeon just appears up and we'll be fighting for this stuff. Enter. This time we're not going to auto. 
You're just gonna fight him straight up. How many? Okay, we got three stages to go through. Yeah, she should receive a little bit of damage, but we should be fine with our healer. him go her why he is attacking him to give him the weakened state and dead <laughs> I have no idea what the hell you were using and I don't like it So everything just stays the same where it like last left off. So uh, the next turn we're gonna get, oh dear God. Okay, uh, yeah, on the next turn we were gonna get that much. So this gives a hill over time and everything. So we're gonna save that. So this is on all enemies. All right, so we provoked him, got him off of uh, her. Let's go with just killing him. We're gonna save our heal for the boss. There we go, we're at a full 16 now. And what we're gonna do here, put on a defense. Take a little bit of less damage. And we're going to hit you. So we got a few turns coming up. There we go. Ah, there he is. Oh, so we're going to fight him from this angle. This angle is so weird. I don't like it. Uh, let's get everybody the heal. Oh, it gives one person the Okay, whoops, I read that wrong. Guess we want to get rid of the ads, huh? So he has the back line. Alright, we taunted him. He's gonna hit front. Defense boost. Uh, let's use this. I think we should try and kill though. There we go. Now we don't have to take any unnecessary damage. Oh, nope, our healer is dead. I have a feeling we should be fine though. With how much damage he's taken. Kind of our fault though. We didn't. 
We didn't think about taking out the ads first. Okay, there's a dodge. Good job, good job. As long as she's up, we should be fine. Alright, here we go again with that. So hopefully she survives one more turn. Go ahead and cloak up and dodge. Good job, dude. Oh, this goes on us. So things do stack, apparently. And you're dead. Alright, pretty easy. Pretty straightforward. So that was the Mobius dungeon. Well, guys, hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to be in the here. Um, basically, this game is actually pretty unique. I like it. Especially the, like I said, the animations are actually pretty nice. I actually like it. And wow, okay, never mind. I reread this. You can actually pick a buff you want here. So if I wanted to go, I can go with that. And I can just start that up. That's actually pretty nice, letting your players pick buffs. And you get rewards for how long you ever play. Yeah, a little bit of small things. Thank you. Will I be playing this on launch? I definitely will. I'll definitely try it out to see what has changed, what hasn't changed. Definitely going to be looking up, looking out for that. Not sure how long this game's gonna last, though. That's the only thing that I will be curious about. So if I ever stop playing the game, then you guys probably know I quit. Or I'll just tell you guys that I'm no longer playing it, if you ask. But until then, we'll leave that for the future and for global launch. But that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose You're what you got to lose Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose